What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna be reviewing the Bitcoin USD. I'm gonna be uh, doing a little bit of analysis here. Um, I'm telling you now, I'm not gonna do a lot of predictions, but if you ask me, my general idea is I'm very bully, uh, sorry, I'm very bearish. Um, I don't think this movement is normal. And usually when, when we see these dramatic movements, either it's going up or going down, they usually don't last and it will reverse very heavily soon. So that's my view. Uh, I could be wrong, of course. Uh, with this being said, there's a lot of indicators that are actually pointing to the uh, saying that we could uh, be going into a, a bullish market now. But I think it's just a bull trap. I don't believe the hype. But again, this is my very personal opinion. OK, with this being said, uh, let's go into the analysis. So the first indication that this could be a trend reversal and we could be going up now is that when you see a long, nice candle like this, in regular markets are not that long usually because there's not these uh, pumps and dumps are not so common in, in regular markets, but in crypto it's more normal. But when you see a long body candle that it doesn't have very long tail, it's the body is long and nice. And then the moving average crosses right across, crosses right in the middle of the candle. It usually indicates a trend reversal. Of course, no indicator is 100% reliable. Uh, if it was, uh, all the traders in the world would be millionaires. But uh, some indicators are more reliable than others. And usually this is a, a rela rela more reliable indicator than patterns, for example. The second indication that it's uh, pointing to, to be a bull market is that the price of Bitcoin broke through all the resistance, uh, every single level. It broke through these descending resistance. It broke through both moving averages. It broke through the bottom of the channel, middle of the channel and top of the channel going very near to all time highs. So this is a very strong movement, but at the same time, it's too exaggerated uh, so that it's not natural. Um, and it could dump at any minute now. Now, uh, another thing is though that now Bitcoin has a lot of support. Every resistance that it's broke, that it's been broken on the way up, now it's going to act as a support. So uh, there could be the, pro the possibility that Bitcoin now can actually stop and rest through many levels of, of support now. If the price would actually break the all-time highs and uh, actually managed to to stay above the all-time highs by the time the candle closes. Like if we can close above all-time highs, that would be a very, very bullish sign. And even if it closes above 2,600, which is the which is this uh, Fibonacci level here, if it closes above this line, uh, it would be already a higher high. Uh, meaning that it's closing above the previous high. So that would give me the opportunity to draw another descending resistance, a new one above the other two, and yet yeah, forming a, a higher high, which is uh, the first sign of a bullish, uh, you know, bullish trend. And if it closes above this previous, previous high, above 2,700, then it would be more bullish than if it closes only above this first previous high. Also, if we look at the weekly, I realized that the RSI, which is another quite reliable indicator, seems it wants to start to go up now. <clears throat> of course, it's not nothing is sure, but the blue the blue line you see it's flattened. It's it's flattened, flattening now, and it seems it wants to go up. Because uh, it's the natural course of the, the RSI, usually when it heats up, then it goes down, when it, when it gets down, then it goes up, and it usually goes like this. Of course, it could go flat for a while, or it could continue to go down. It happens sometimes. But usually the indicator, uh, when, it, when you see this shape here, like it's flattening and it wants to start going up, uh, this reflects the price of the market going up as well, usually. So that would be another thing. And to finish with the bullish signs, uh, if you go to the market cap, and I can see here a very clear head and shoulders formation, actually inverse, inverse heads and shoulders formation here. I, I'm sure most of you know already what a head and shoulders formation is, but if you don't know, I'll show you very quick. So this is a head and shoulder formation. 
this is the left shoulder, this is the head in the middle and the right, right shoulder and it indicates a trend reversal. For example, in this case, the head and shoulder, it's normal, it's not upside down. So uh, for this formation, for, for this pattern to form, it means we, need, we, we are coming from an uptrend because we're coming from down uh, going up and we go like this and we dump and then we go up higher. Uh, and then in the middle of this formation, we go down, we go back up, but not as high. And then we go back, back down. And it means we are actually making a trend reversal from coming from down and going down after this formation. Actually, it's completed in this position, which is inverse. You have here the left shoulder, the head in the middle and the right, sh right shoulder here. Upside down, it means a trend reversal, but the other way, you're coming from a downtrend, and after this, you're gonna go into a, a bullish trend. But patterns are not like really reliable. Patterns are actually not reli reliable until they actually break. If you see a pattern, it doesn't mean it's gonna break. Either way, it, you only know when it starts to break. Going back to the market cap, uh, Bitcoin dominance, and this would be a negative or a bearish sign. Bitcoin has been losing dominance for the past three, four months. And we've all seen that the past three, four months, the market was, was doing well. It was going up in price. And for the past month, Bitcoin has been regaining dominance now again. And for this past month, uh, the market hasn't been doing that well. So historically, it always happens like, like this in every Bitcoin bubble. Every time Bitcoin loses dominance, it means the total market cap is doing well. And when, when Bitcoin starts regaining dominance, it means the bubble is popping or the market cap is going to go down. And so far, the Bitcoin dominance uptrend didn't change yet. It's not going back down. Okay, we had a little bit of dumping here, but the general trend in Bitcoin dominance is trending up, which means the market is gonna, should be going down. But again, nothing is 100% reliable. I'm just giving all the clues that I can find here. Okay, what's next? Bitcoin, let's go back to the daily. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that this, uh, this recent super pump, it could very well be a bull trap. Just like we've seen in the bubble model, I've shown it, I've shown it many times. And also the top of the bubble in 2014 for Bitcoin, we had these two bull traps here, one here and one here. It means it goes down heavily like it did now Bitcoin. And then it recovers quick and every, everybody thinks we are bullish again and we're going to break all time highs. But then what happens is that we crash farther and we go into a lower low. And then the same thing happened here. Then it started to recover nearing all time highs again. But after that, we went into a, a very long bear market. What could be happening here for Bitcoin this year is that this is a, we had the Fels bull, tra bull trap here and then it recovered quick. Everybody thought we were going to go up to all time highs, but then uh, we started crashing farther. So we did the lower low comparing with the previous one. And now what's going on now, this is shooting up like crazy and very, very near all time highs. This is very, very typical in bubbles. So what I'm thinking that could happen, this is a, a bull trap and now we are really going to crash hard. Uh, after this this parabolic movement, this is called this is a parabolic movement, and these movements usually don't last much, and then they crash very very heavily. So I'm thinking maybe we're not going to go into a long bear market, and we finally are going to be able to crash from here and go all the way down. I mean the general market cap, I think it's it's about to to crash. I mean it's gone too crazy. This. It doesn't even make it doesn't even make any sense now. It doesn't matter. Segwit is going to be implemented, or I mean, we knew Bitcoin was going to be fixed long ago, and there was no price reaction, or if anything, it was negative reaction in the price. And now, what's going on? The people is buying the rumor, and it's going to sell the news probably. I don't know. It's just my idea, but I think this is not sustainable. This is not normal, and I don't see it uh, lasting much more.
I think that was all I had to say for today, guys. Uh, please leave me your comments because I love uh, reading your comments, guys. I, I mean it because I don't have many people in my life that I can talk about these things because no, not many people is into cryptocurrency. So I miss sometimes, you know, have different opinions from different people. And yeah, I just love reading your comments, whether it's positive or negative or, you know, anything. Okay, guys, thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.